Hello everyone and welcome to another session about the engineering design process. So today's discussion is about how to narrate a problem statement and then how to do research. I'm just going to cover again from the beginning of engineering design process as a review of what we do. In the first step we do a research of the existence of the problem. Then in the next step we look at prior solution, what other people they have done, we look at patterns, we look at products. Uh, and then we come up with design specification, how big it's going to be, how much the cost of that would be. We start drawing some sketches and design in the part D. Then we would come up with the construction and the testing procedure, or we'll do the construction and testing. At the end, we would do the communication and reporting of the result. So what we would do for this activity. So problem statement. Problem statement is a narrative, like maybe a paragraph, couple of sentences, just to tell other people what is the problem. Now, we are looking on the problem. We don't look at the solution at this step. Now, the first point is that you have to stay concise and to the point and avoid general information and other unnecessary statements. So let me just to give you different examples of what it is. So too short fish are dying. Then I have many questions. What types of fish? Where? Why? And then many other things that is not clear in that. Too worthy and general. Me and my buddy, you can just put as much of the stuff you like to do there. Again, <laughs> my body and my soul boating and then we saw a dead fish. I said, man, look at that. It's just too much work. I don't need to know where you were why you were in the boat i don't know even to know that you saw that fish dead so it's too much information the more appropriate one would be it was observed that many raw fishes were dead over the month of july in opposite part of detroit river so we know the location we know the season we know what type of fish and then it's just more um, appropriate so sample problem statement, there are many students, they were working on a phone charger. So and then when they are looking for, in this case, we don't describe the solution, we just describe the problem. So we highly depend on our phone call for daily tasks. Again, my our phone is a part of our life. And then we keep checking our email, shopping, and then running out of battery during long school hours become a hassle. Also, remembering to recharge your phone is convenient, is inconvenient. So you can see there are two points that they are tackling. One is that uh, long hours and then remembering to recharge it at night. So in, in the next part, after you wrote a problem statement, we can talk about problem justification. So problem justification usually is just few points of why that problem is important and needs to be addressed. Uh, when we say that, it could be from the perspective of health, safety, time, convenience, and comfort. Again, this is the four points I would list, but again, you, this is not going to be a problem justification for your case. Obviously, you need to come up with a narrative of what you are doing. For instance, if I'm talking about uh, a phone charger, I'm talking about saving time, I'm talking about uh, more of convenience, right? If I talk about, for instance, a solution for walking or disability health for people. I'm talking about health, I'm talking about safety, I'm talking about those types of concern. For instance, if I'm working to design a walker for older people, I'm looking into make them, uh, again, give them convenience so they can walk. And at the same time, I'm working on their health issues that uh, if they don't walk, it, it, it can, it, they could become facing uh, heart attack, obesity, and many other related issues. So research, the last part of today's activity. Research is, again, there was a meme. Uh, it says that I don't know I should believe scientists or I should believe my friend who did not graduate high school and is now putting videos on YouTube. So many times we don't, we don't know how to make a decision. And the reason is obvious because of, it's about exposure. We are so much exposed to social media that we believe in them. Uh, now... Again, we, we, in, in case of trustability, you can see, we can, if you look at Google, Google would bring up all sorts of things, right? When you search in Google, it brings you social media channels, it brings like Twitter, Facebook, Google, Google Plus, they close it already. So weblogs, and as you can see, as I go down more, I can trust more on this information. If there is a weblog where the author is trustworthy and known, I can trust those information. 
news articles by agencies like BBC, NBC, CNN, and then scientific magazines. So as I go down in this type of result, I can do a little bit more trust. But again, where scientists find information, if any engineer find information, that would be in Google Scholar. So if you haven't touched this, play with it. It's a very good tool and you can find much more stuff on it. So in Google Scholar, you can find textbook, you can find conference proceeding, and then it's pre-reviewed journal. So everything that in there is just a one level higher than the regular one. For instance, when I say textbook or there are government reports in there too, all those stuff has been reviewed by at least one more person. Uh, same thing with peer review journal that many other people review them. Now, as, when we are doing research, we're going to copy the title, the citation. I'm going to show you where to copy the citation in Google Scholar, so you don't need to write a citation. Uh, you need to copy the abstract, and then at the end, you need to copy uh, summary and relevance. Like, can just write two sentences for a summary and relevance uh, note research the problem and its current complication not the solution nothing to the solution solution will come afterward at this moment for instance if you're looking for a phone charger don't look at don't search phone charger search for anxiety dependence of us on the technology uh, and then how the internet change your life so research on the problem not on the solution so let me just to move to Google Scholar and then uh, do some search again. Google Scholar is scholar.google.com. When you move in there, you can actually type in different things here. So for instance, I'm talking about phone charger. I can search for dependence on the technology. So when I say dependent on the technology or dependence on internet, I can find many articles related to this area. I don't know why it's showing me in French. Uh, and I have no idea when I change the language in my computer. But basically, this is the title of the, uh, this is the title of research. So let me just to say, please, English only. So internet addiction symptoms is like a good article. I can copy this. This is actually the title. Uh, if you want to get the citation, don't work for the citation. Citation is right here. Click on this quotation mark. You can copy the citation and then as for abstract if you open this uh, many articles when we open them they already have an abstract the abstract is a summary of their article and then you can read through that and then you can copy that abstract so uh, let me just to show you how to compile the assignment all together again work in teams in order to work in teams you can use either google drive you can use uh, OneDrive and then we can use Dropbox. There are many places for collaborative types of work. So I already created a folder here for myself. I can click on this folder and then I can share this folder with my teammates. So put the email of your teammates here. Now once you put the email you can say done and then they will receive an email that the folder has been shared with them. Now anything that I put inside this folder will be shared with everybody. Right, right now I want to create a document for today. I'm going to Create a document, create and share, okay. Then the name of this document, I'm gonna call this problem statement. Sorry, too much worthy. Problem statement. And then I can add the problem statement here. Again, the same thing that I mentioned to you that you would come up with the narrative for it then you can have the problem justification and then you can do your research here research so research article 1 so article one, you need to copy the title, copy the citation, copy the apps, tract, and then write a summary for it. Okay, I showed you in Google Scholar, you can simply, this is the title, you can copy the title from here. When you copy the title, make sure that you paste it as a text without formatting. 
then the citation which was up back there for now I'm going to just copy the abstract I would be able to write a summary and relevance for it and then I need to copy the citation. Citation is you need to go one more back and then copy it from this guy down here. That's the citation. So I'm done with this actually. So in order to give you a sample, uh, if you check HFC online and then you can go to the Journal of Innovative Ideas to click on this link, there are already uh, an article there, again there are many other articles in there too, that pages 2 and 3 of this article would show you uh, what you need to do, like pages 2 and 3. So this is a sample of problem statement, you can see problem justification, and then you can see a couple of articles here for your information. Thank you for listening to me and uh,